What is going on guys? I am Default Band-Aid and you are all hopefully having a great day. And in this video I'm going to be showing you how to join the Thieves Guild in Skyrim located in Riften. Now assuming that you've never been to Riften before and you don't know about the Thieves Guild I will show you how to start from scratch essentially. So you just start the game, you are level 1. Let's go to Whiterun, specifically the Whiterun stables. Because if you haven't heard of the Thieves Guild and haven't joined the Thieves Guild, I'm assuming you haven't heard of Riften or been to Riften. Because everyone in Riften knows about the Thieves Guild and everyone in the Thieves Guild knows where Riften is. So, Let's start off by talking to this guy. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be off. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of that, and you'll forget all. Now, normally I would tell you not to bring Lydia on these types of adventures where you're going to be stealing, pickpocketing, breaking into things, like stuff like that, because she can get you in a lot of trouble, but this is a very simple quest, so I'm just going to show you how to get Hold in there. and everything. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? This is obviously a shakedown. Oh, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? Pretty much. There's like no one out here, but whatever. Gate. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross what? me, and I'll kill you. I need it. <laughs> um. You can head inside when you're okay, so that's just kind of one of those random event things that can happen. And wonderful, I'm over cucumbered now because he decided he wanted to give me some random crap. So let's just drop wow wasn't expecting that at all let's just drink a bunch of alcohol there you go welcome to Riften. <laughs> yeah it's just like a random thing that'll happen that guy will come up and basically give you some random crap and then another guy will come up and he'll be like hey did so and so just come by here and then you can do it it's just it's just a random event that happens but you're gonna run into this guy named Maul. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. What's it to you? Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. Who are the Blackbriars? The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket, and the Thieves Guild watches their backs, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Now normally you should say this if you have any sort of speech craft level, but since I pretty much just started the game on this account, don't. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say, I'll just stay out of your way. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. And the easiest way to get to the docks I'm is really to go directly that way. When you borrow money, know. you said you'd pay it back on time and for double and that's a miscellaneous quest you can do if you listen to that conversation. Now, you'll notice Brynjolf is not at the market where he would normally be. At the times between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. he will be out here when the market is open, but any time after that, he will be at the B and Barb, the local inn in Riften. And he'll be sitting against the wall. People of Riften. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry, hey lad? I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn the septum of it honestly. I can tell. My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. 
What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Why plant the ring on Branche? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. And that someone that wants to put him out of business is me from I'll be at the Black market. Just a little, uh, just a little backstory, in case you were wondering. Okay, lot. Ready to make some coin. Uh, yeah, but I can't do it yet. You said wait until 8. Like, you're not going to give me the option to, so... Just wait right here until 8, and he'll be standing pretty much right in front of you. Or not. Okay, lot. Ready to I'm make ready. Some coin. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone! Everyone! Gather up. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Now you can do this however you want, but I prefer to stay hidden just in case I mess up. And I do have Lydia with me. Um, normally I wouldn't be doing any thieving or anything like that with her around because she'll kill guards and get me in more trouble. But in this case, I think there's a pretty good chance that we will succeed. So I'm going to keep her with me because there's a place that Brynjolf will ask you to go called the Ratway after this that is very dangerous. There's a lot of enemies there, so I'm going to have her with me for that. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the Wispet. So now you just put the ring with him. Oh, or equip it, my bad. So yeah, then you can switch to bring it off. And it looks like, oh, there's Lydia. I was about to say, Make it Lydia decides you don't want to come with me. Damn. Looks I like I chose it. the right person for the job. You sure did. And here you go, your payment. And he'll Just give you I promise. 100 gold. The way things have been that. going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. What's been going on? Uh, my organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from, if you think you can handle it. I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. And like I said, he will ask you to meet him at the Ragged Flagon, which is below the Ratway. And the easiest way to get there is to just pretty much go all the way around. You'll see where this Mistavel Keep is. Pretty much walk directly in front of that. And jump down here. And don't worry about your follower. Uh, whoever your follower is, they'll appear as soon as you enter any uh, interior area. As you can see. So it doesn't matter if they're right behind you or anything. There will be two people up here. I don't know, Drop. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. This what you want, huh? Wait, and one black skeever and draw drop, I guess. The black skeevers are uh, not to be confused with the black briar. There is no relation there, and I'm gonna drop some stuff. Let's just drop that hunting bow. Oh wow. Okay, I'm still over cucumbered. Um, let's just drop all this crap. Okay. I swear I'm not a child monster. I just have like a bunch of children's clothes on me. Okay. So you'll be able to lower that gate later with a lever that's on the right side, and you're just gonna go through this, and you can get killed by that. 
But, um, if you go straight, that's just like a storeroom. I wanna go left. And there's a skeever right there. And this guy named Guy on the Fist. Do not get hit with his fist. He might seem like he's a joke, but he's really not. He can kill you very, very easily, especially if he gets you cornered like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to healing, and then I'm gonna switch over to destruction. Wow, we're not. And I'm gonna use flames. Kill him very easily. So yeah. Now he's gonna drop these uh, gloves of the Polgist, which increase your unarmed strikes by 10 points. So you're going to want to pick those up because the that's a pretty rare enchantment. And there's going to be a bunch of bear traps all over the place, so just be careful for those. And that's there's one more enemy you'll have to fight. There's a trap I just ran through, but as long as you run, it shouldn't get you. And there's going to be a guy on the right up here. I'm just going to switch over to dual flames. Lydia isn't really helping me out that much, is she? Mercy. Um, no, I don't, I don't believe in mercy. So you're gonna loot him. Probably just take his clothes and his gold. There's nothing really that great in here except uh, you're gonna want to pull this lever that is right here. And that'll activate that drawbridge so you can come back through here easily next time and there's a skeever and at least there should be a skeever around here maybe not I know there's a skill book in here here it is beggar so read that and it will increase your level at least give you some XP and you have successfully made it to the ragged flagon now, once you get here, um, first off, that person sitting right there with a the hood, that's the face sculptor. So, if you want to change your face, that's how. I'm telling you, this one is different. You're talking about me? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Getting here was easy. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So. Now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats? What did they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds good. Who are they? Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How did you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Consider it done. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. I'll be here now, right I will let you know right off the bat that Kirabo will be the most difficult one to collect the debt from, but I will show you that in my next video of Skyrim Special Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I am Default Band-Aid, and I will see you next time. If you like this video anytime, feel free to click that like button, and if you want to see some more Skyrim Let's Play videos, subscribe for more, and click that bell next to the subscribe button to be notified every time I make a new video.